and go like why you had to take my brother's way On me and my mattress, but I had to cap another shake I just cap another shake, I just cap another shake All these bitches on me now so when we think about the San Antonio Spurs, rarely do they miss target on a good draft pick or in other words draft a buzz. I mean look, the Spurs has to have the best management or draft scouts in NBA history by a long shot. I'm telling you, those guys are like draft gods and if you look at some of their best players of all time, like Manny Ginobili and Tony Parker and Kawhi Leonard if he's able to recover from his quad injury prayers up. But none of those guys were even a top 10 pick in the draft. And if we go back to Manu Ginobili, he was actually the 57th pick in the 1999 NBA draft. He was nearly picked last, but the Spurs draft guards were able to come in clutch and acquire him. And the thing is, they don't only draft great all-time players, they're known for drafting great role players as well like George Hill and Willie Anderson. And in recent years, they drafted DeJounte Murray, who has shown a lot of upside in the NBA as he was the 29th pick in the 2016 NBA draft. So. It's crazy that the Spurs doesn't really need a high draft pick to find some great talent in the draft. So this led me to think, what is the biggest bust in Spurs history? And yeah, the Spurs has had a lot of success in the NBA draft over the years, but with that being said, typically players pick late in the first round often become a bigger risk and likely even a draft and stash European prospect. But even with a great draft record as the Spurs, they're still human and like all humans, we make mistakes and sometimes they might totally miss out on a pick or a player might not pan out as they should. And that's exactly what happened a while back when the Spurs drafted a guy called Livio Jean Charles who I think is the biggest bust in Spurs history. And I know some of you guys might disagree and say James Anderson is the biggest bust in Spurs history as he was the 20th pick in the 2010 NBA draft class and he was actually the highest pick the Spurs has used in recent years. And I wouldn't be mad if we were to go with that especially because he never lived up to his potential after having three very successful college years at Oklahoma State including winning the Big 12 Player of the Year award in 09 and 010. He was supposed to be a very dynamic scorer but the thing is a broken foot caused his chance at getting regular minutes with the Spurs in 2010 and by the time he made it all the way back to health a guy named Kawhi Leonard had already taken his spot so you know he had a lot of misfortunes with the Spurs that I wouldn't really blame him for. But Livio Jean Charles is a whole different story so coming into the NBA Livio Jean Charles was supposed to be one of the best players or overseas players the Spurs has drafted over the years. He played in France overseas and he was a 6'9 athletic forward and he was an amazing defender had a very long wingspan and he was supposed to be a great scorer crafty around the basket and a hard worker so there's no wonder why the Spurs decided to draft him he checked off all of their boxes and in the Nike Hoop Summit game in 2013, he put up 27 points and 13 rebounds and had two blocks while shooting 70% from the stripe. And that one particular game caught the eyes of many NBA scouts that year. And in 2013, the Spurs selected him as the 28th pick in the first round of the 2013 NBA draft, but it was a draft and stash, meaning NBA teams select players overseas and allow them to stay with their international teams to allow them to develop or to improve and then eventually bring them up to the NBA. And that's exactly what happened to Livio Jean Charles when in 2016, the Spurs decided to bring him up where he played five preseason games with the Spurs in 2016. But the thing is, he didn't play well enough to maintain a roster spot with the Spurs as the Spurs waived him shortly after his short preseason run. And since then, he has not played a single regular season game in the NBA. And right now, he currently plays for the San Antonio Spurs G League, where he is averaging a not so special 11.2 points per game. 5.7 rebounds per game and 1.1 assists per game and watching his G League highlights or games it's clear that he's not a good enough shooter or skilled enough to be a wing player and he isn't exactly big enough to be a post player either. So from being one of the highest draft picks the Spurs has used in recent years into being named one of the best players they have drafted overseas it sucks that things just never really worked out. You know he is one of the bigger names that has not exactly panned out for the Spurs quite like everyone hoped he'd be, but of course, with having such a great draft record as the Spurs has, this wasn't easy, but with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think is the biggest draft bust in Spurs history, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe for more NBA content, but with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you all later, peace.